so currently we are at the booth of Wegulus Resources, and uh, standing beside me is the gentleman, is the Mr. John Black, the CEO of the company. Hi, John. How are you doing today? Hi, Gilbert. Thanks for the time. Yes, I'd like to maybe just start off by asking you, can you give us a, a quick overview of uh, what Regulus Resources does? Uh, Regulus Resources, is a, we're a group of explorationists that are very good at identifying large copper or copper gold deposits, acquiring them at low points in the market, and then drilling them out, de-risking them through about a pre-feasibility stage, and then ideally we'd like to sell them to a major mining company at that time. Okay, so you talk about the antiquary project, your key project. So what have you done in the last few years and achieved so far up until at this point? Antiquary is a good example of what we try to do. We, we identified this project as a very exciting copper gold project, but it was one that had some challenges. It had a complicated land situation. It was uh, a very fragmented ownership on it and a number of other issues. We acquired it by merging with Southern Legacy Peru, the company that held it. And since that time, two key agreements that we've reached that allow us to move the project forward on it. One is with a neighbor immediately to the south of us that is operating an active gold mine and it allows us to share data with them and lay back a pit and solve the issue about interfingered land situations on that. With those agreements in place, we've completed over 23,000 meters of drilling in our phase one program that was completed in about November. And the most important news is just uh, two nights ago, we announced a, an upgraded resource, a new updated resource on it. So the project now has moved to over 250 million tons of indicated resources at about a 0.74% copper equivalent grade and 267 million additional tons of inferred resources at about a 0.66 copper grade. So it's growing. This is an interim resource. This is a first look at it. We'll continue to drill hard this year and we anticipate another substantial increase in about a year's time. So can you uh, share some comments on the jurisdiction and the infrastructure overall in the region or in northern Peru? Yep. Peru is an excellent place to work. Uh, we think that we specialize in looking for copper projects in South America, and Peru is perhaps the best balance of good jurisdiction to work in, but still potential to discover things. It's the number two copper producer in, in the world right now with aspirations to overtake Chile someday. And with discoveries like our Antiquari project, it's very possible that they will, will push Chile on, on total production at some time in the future. More specifically to Cajamarca, the region that we're working in, it's an area that's endowed with a number of large copper and gold deposits. Yanacoches, the, the large Newmont gold operations 45 kilometers away from us. And we have two operating mines immediately adjacent to us, uh, Cerro Corona of Goldfields and the Tantawatai mine that's operated by Minera Comalaichi. So what's regular resources or ultimate goal? Do you want to run it into production or you want to sell it to the major? What do you want to uh, comment on that one? Well, as I mentioned, our strategy is really to identify these, capture them, and then drill them out, show their full size, and more importantly, de-risk them to show that they're economically viable and can move forward. We're not operators. We're not miners by nature. So the best outcome for us is to then sell that to a mining company that specializes in putting them into production. However, having said that, uh, even though that's our strategy, it doesn't change what we do. We do absolutely everything just like we will be mining it ourselves. You don't take shortcuts because that decreases the attractiveness for someone to pick up the project. So we, we do everything just like we're going to put the mine in production ourselves, but the most likely outcome is a major mining company when prices are high and they're hungry for projects will be looking for a project like this. And that's what we see the market right now is, is that metal prices are going up, uh, the major companies will be producing more or producing more profits with higher metal prices. And they're not uh, having very much success at identifying their own new projects. There are very few new opportunities out there. So we think this timing could be right. We could be delivering a very exciting project right when people are hungry to acquire these type of assets. So how does Antiquary, uh, this project, compare to other existing copper gold deposits in the world? Um, one thing, there's there very few other existing projects that are at this stage, this early development stage out there. Um, the major miners have acquired most of the ones that came out in the cycle from 2007 to 2011 when we sold our Hikir project in our previous company, Antares, on this. So there aren't very many of them left. There are only really a handful. So we're, up, we're in the, our competition, if you will, on this would be projects like Cascabel that Soul Gold has up in Ecuador. Um, we, we have another project called Altar in our other company, uh, Aldebaran Resources, that's emerging to be a pretty interesting one. And there are really only two or three more projects around the world that have these type of grades in the combined copper gold and that are held by juniors that are not likely to be the operator. They're likely to be available to be acquired by a major company. 
So, in summary, why should investor now uh, consider investing into wireless resources? So what do you think? Well, we're a very experienced team. We've shown we can do it before. Our first company, uh, Regulus, our first company, Antares Minerals, was sold for six hundred and fifty million dollars to First Quantum in two thousand and ten. Regulus spun out from that. We think we're on to an equally exciting, or maybe even more exciting, project right now. And what I like most right now is it seems like the market timing is good right now. We're seeing copper pick up. We've seen gold pick up in price recently. I believe particularly copper will continue to do so. We need about another year or two to show the full size of this project. And at about that time, I think we might be seeing a, a spike in copper prices. We might might be delivering a very exciting project right at the right moment. And what kind of milestone or news update in the next 12 months the investors should look for for Reckless? Well, the big piece was what just came out on, on Friday is the, the, the resource increase. That's what a lot of people have been looking for on that. But we'll be drilling continuously throughout the year. So watch for more drill results as we go through the year, more news about how we might further consolidate things in the district and move forward. And particularly watch on the drilling now because we've been drilling close to the mine on our south side so far. Uh, about mid-year, we'll get permits that allow us to move the drilling to the north. And we have some very exciting drill geophysical targets in the north that we're waiting to hit. Those, those could be uh, um, step changers in the project and really open up the potential. Thank you for your time, John. It sounds okay. exciting year for Wegulus. All right, thanks. Thank you, take, care. take care. Thank you for watching this video. Please scan the QR code to log on NAI 500 website and follow us on social media to get regular updates on the Chinese language North American market news, CEO interviews, trends, and investment opportunities. Click subscribe to our channel to watch more interviews and presentations.